What is this? Sorry for the angle. It's a little bit off on the angle. But these are acrylic color paints. And I have these pigments. Corkio bug pigments. Azure red. Uh, turmeric in, in rubbing alcohol. I'm going to add them to the pigment and, and I'm going to add a whole bunch of bases and other materials to see how they react towards the pigment. So first up is indigo which will really sink to high heaven when I open it. Yeah, it stinks horribly. This is like a paste almost, the indigo. So it might act differently. Oops, tips over a little bit sometimes. Sorry about that tipping over. I gotta find a way of making this more secure. But it will do for now. Then what we do is we would take the pipette with the indigo in, in indigo inside and we stir it. A nice baby blue pigment. See? Just the beginning. Put away these for pets so we don't contaminate anything. And put on the lid. It isn't fully mixed as you can see, but it will get there. Next up is alicad or al alkane compounds from from a, a dye that's been altered with the pH about 10. How will this affect the, the pigments. It's an alcohol base. I don't know, that might not work well. It's supposed to be a purple dye, but that's might be very challenging. You like you have to let it sort of harden and solidify. Really hard to see on the camera, but it's like a a beigey, a beigey white pigment. That's our second segment. Second pigment. The third pigment is corneal neutral pH, which have a very lovely red color. Put on the cap of the other dyes and be moving the stuff away. I have a bit of allergy, so that's why I'm stuffed up. See, this is the pigment, and this is this is the acrylic that I'll be adding it to. It uses. Mm, it might be a little bit hard to open this. There we go. This is ideal for painting. Except it creates a very, very weird complex, like a jelly-like substance, which I don't know if I, if I can use it properly. I just got to pipette very carefully and avoid 
the jelly substance I can create. So you're starting to get there. But it still needs more and the problem is well the problem is that it's like a almost like a, a it it gels up when you use it but it should be able to make a nice pink color now put the lid on and we stir it for a bit It might be a little bit too runny, but with, with time, the air will come in and it will solidify it a bit. You might have to, it might, it's just an experimental trial. But you can, you can mix acrylics and maybe even add a bit of solvent. And make sure it's fairly mixed before you try this. Fairly mix it in that. Again, this camera is a little bit challenging to work with. <coughs> Sorry for me sneezing, I have a little bit of an allergy attack today. Trying to get the lid on these damn suckers to, to close. Well, a uh, non transformer one. There we go. That's out of the way. This is Azurian Red. It should be insane pigment because it has insane results of, with paper and that kind of stuff. As you can see, Azurian Red in, 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 um, for stains and alcohol. It's a better dive than the Corleo clear bug pigment. But you have to add it quite a lot because it's, it's liquid. It's almost like a cherry pigment. Looks like a, like a, a slight cherry pigment. Can you see it now? It isn't perfectly mixed as you can see, but it's getting there. That's the issue with using pipettes. You can pour the solution in with the pipette, then you mix it, mix it around. The last, last video, the last part, sorry for being the wrong video, is going to be the turmeric. Because the turmeric itself is a yellow color, so it should make it orangey or yellow. A really interesting color with these pigments. First, I have to get another lid. So I can just prepare this. Turmeric extract in alcohol.
See? Creates a lovely yellow color. And the turmeric is irritating too. Just simple dyes you can make and, and work with. Mainly alcohol extract, but some of them are uh, See how lovely yellow that is? You just have to stir very well to get the pigment to work. The pigment might fall out, or the dye might fall out of the pigment. So you can see, like that. Thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna close up and show you the, the final products. See? Five pigments. You can, you can work with so many other pigments. Malachite green, methylene blue, indigo carmine. There are so many other dyes you can work with besides these pigments. It's, it's endless. I might do other pigments that are similar to this and, and show you results of, of, of what it looks like when it's being used for painting. Again, I appreciate you watching this long video. I'm sorry it took 11 minutes for this video to be processed. But it is a complex and cumbersome time to do it.